Not only does Ethiopia have Africa's largest livestock population, its leather is reputed to be of high quality. There are many incentives for those who wish to see the country become a leather manufacturing hub. Uh, there's still a big capacity because at the, at the moment we are exporting 80-85% of our leather uh, uh, in terms of finished leather, not finished products. So there's a big uh, capacity to increase if we can produce all uh, our material into shoes and into bags and different leather accessories. Small local factories, like this one, say they do not worry about foreign companies coming in as most of their market is local. After three or four years, we will be like a known in the, in the Horn and in Africa, we hope so. Like. Made in Ethiopia is slowly but surely becoming more recognized around the world. This locally based high-end leather bag company is part of a new generation that is changing Ethiopia's narrative of what can be made in the country. I think initially it was a foreign concept to kind of produce made in Ethiopia high-end products. Uh, and so, uh, and then uh, as far as for my brand, you know, we add a lot of the Ethiopian touch uh, with it. And so that kind of gave us a bit of attention. Uh, and as well as the quality of the leather. And so the mix of that, uh, it's perceived positively uh, so far. Although exports increased in past years, the government's goal to reach $500 million in leather exports by 2015 fell short. It now plans to build industrial hubs to further expand the leather sector and the Made in Ethiopia trademark. Marta van der Wolf for VOA News, Addis Ababa.